Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to group objects. And so we're going to go ahead and go to our insert menu. And then we're going to go to the option for shapes. And then we're going to choose the uh, shape for rectangle. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just click here to drag and draw my shape. Um, we can always go to shape styles here to change the color, etc. Um, we're going to do another one, or we could just copy and paste this one. I'm just going to do that. Control highlight to, to select. Just click. And once you see the solid line, you know it's selected. Um, something else to note is that once you have selected your object, it could be any object, whether it's a table, shape, etc., you'll always see these sizing handles, which allows you to resize uh, diagonally, horizontally, or vertically. So that's something to note for all the objects. The four-way arrow allows you to actually move it from one place to another. That's your select or move tool. And you have also a rotational handle at the top middle section here for rotating your objects. There we go. Control Z to undo. Um, so what we're really interested in is grouping our objects. So I'm going to just show you here a simple organizational chart. I'm just going to copy and paste. So we can have three objects here. Uh, there we go. So we have three rectangle. And we can always add text to this. We can just right click. And um, I'm just going to use the option here to add text. And then I'm going to say something like uh, maybe C or something. Uh, then we will have another one here. I'm just going to right click, add text. Let's make this the CIO. And let's make this one right click, add text. Uh, let's make this one the, um, let's say the chief financial officer or something. Okay, there we go. So let's pretend that this is a little organizational chart. So the next thing we want to do, we're going to go back to insert shapes option here, and then we're going to see the option for a connector. And, um, and you can expand the list that you have here, but it's really where you have lines, you have connector here. I'm just going to click on that one that has the bent shape. So here we go, we're going to connect. Um, we're going to connect all of these together. Let's go for another one, not a connector here. Uh, let's do it this way. There we go. And we have it connected. There we go. So the next thing that we want to do here is uh, we want to group all our objects. So before we can do that, we have to actually select each object one by one. So I'm going to select the CEO uh, chart or box. And then I'm going to select the connector beside it and below we have CIO, that box containing CIO or shape, we will uh, click on that. So what you want to do is to hold down the control key and you will see the mouse icon change to this icon here with the plus, <coughs> plus beside the arrow and a little rectangle at the bottom. Once you do that and you, you hover over a part of the shape, you can click on that shape and it will be selected. Hold on the control key continuously so you can select all of the objects. I'm going to select this uh, this connector here and then I'm going to hold on the control key again. Once you hold on the control key, you're hovering over, once you see the select, um, the select icon, you're hovering over that particular shape. Hold on the control key and you can select it like that. So once we have selected all our objects, if I should hold on the control key and use the arrow key to move down or across, you realize that all the objects are moving together. It means that you have selected everything, okay? All right, there we go. So the next thing is we're going to go to the range on the ribbon. In our insert menu, we're going to look for the option for a range. Once you're on the shape format, we're going to look in the arrange grouping and then we're going to look for the option that says group objects. We can click on that arrow that drops down. So we have two options there, group or ungroup. 
So you can group them if you have them grouped already. You can go back here and select ungroup to ungroup those objects. So let's select group. And what this will do, ladies and um, gentlemen, is that it will actually allow your objects to be like as one object. So here we go, you have all your objects. It's like, you know, just one object. So you can copy and paste easily if I want to copy from this document. Control C, Control N to go to a new document. Control Paste. There we go. So everything moves as one. And it's easy when you're working with this because if you want to expand, if you want to uh, expand diagonally or horizontally or vertically, everything is scalable. So everything scales with, uh, with what you're, you're trying to do with the entire object as, as one instead of separate pieces. Alright, so I hope this particular video helped you uh, to see how you can work with objects to group them and uh, look out for some more videos and remember to subscribe and to leave a comment and share with others. Thanks for watching.